The National Registry exam has question styles that are going to be new to you. Limmer Education wants to help you conquer that exam and master those question styles. I'm Dan Limmer from Limmer Education. The video you are about to see, I am going to show you the thinking you need to succeed in those questions, the way the questions work. Then we'll give you the answer, we'll give you the rationale. You'll have a guided tour of how to do these questions and how to succeed in these questions on the National Registry. Watch this. Let's take a look at a technology enhanced item. The National Registry calls these TEIs. They take a lot of different formats. This format is drag and drop. Let's take a look at it and show how we can help you not only get used to this, but understand what these questions ask and how to succeed. You're called to an unresponsive patient. You find a 20 year old patient alert and oriented. The patient was unresponsive for a short time and came too quickly. They report feeling like everything suddenly got fuzzy. Pulse is 88, respiratory rate of 14, blood pressure 110 on 72, and satting at 97%. So the National Registry wants you to use drag and drop here to identify a cause and then the treatment for that cause. Now remember that there is no partial credit for this. So I'm going to look at my causes, hypoglycemia syncopal episode and seizure. Let's go back to the question. Right now, they're alert and oriented. All right, so whatever it is, seems like it's gone. The patient was unresponsive for a short time and came too quickly. Things got fuzzy apparently in the beginning. Vital signs, pulse is high, things look okay. Hypoglycemia, patients just, they don't generally spontaneously get better. Syncopal episode is a leading contender here. This looks like classic syncope. And seizure came too quickly. No, there's normally a postictal period. And there's no description of a seizure activity. So I'm going to take syncopal episode as the cause. I'm going to drag it to the most probable cause section. <clears throat> now, based on this, I've got to choose a treatment. Now, remember, there's no partial credit here. You've got to get both right. The National Registry says there's only one right cause and one right treatment. They're not going to give partial credit. We've got to get this right. The treatments are transport, okay, administer oxygen, alert and oriented 97%. I'm thinking no oxygen, administer glucose. Well, one, I didn't choose hypoglycemia, so I wouldn't give glucose. But two, if I wanted to double check just in case, because I can drag that back and still change my answer. Yeah, that patient's alert and oriented. I'm not going to give glucose to somebody who's alert and oriented. Obviously, I don't have a blood glucose reading, but that doesn't make sense. Syncope? Well, I'm going to drag that over to transport. Now, the National Registry won't give you this benefit, checking your answer, but you want to know if you got it right, and you want to know now, and you want to know why. We've got you covered there as well. You can see the answer is correct. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have a full rationale answer, pretty much the way I worked the question out myself. This is an example of a drag and drop TEI item. It's clinical in nature. You're going to see these in performance scenarios at the advanced level. You're also going to see questions like this on the EMT, AEMT, and paramedic level as individual items throughout the test. You need to know how to do these, and Limmer Education has got you covered.